<laughs> Grace, show me your little nut. Chris has found a very novel way <laughs> of getting all the pebbles that our grandchild keeps throwing into the pond. So I don't know if you can see down there. We've just took the um, bottom drain off because obviously all the pebbles that she throws in is collecting at the bottom of the drain. Our hoover's just blown up. That was quite funny. Didn't get that on tape. So we're scratching our heads how to get these pebbles out and Chris has come up with our little aquarium net and it's doing it, look, look, look. It's doing great, picking it all up for us. So to stop this happening again, we've took all the pebbles out down there where she was picking them up we put them in just for decorative purposes and so we can look get to see the leak pretty quick if it leaks again because last time we had deck in there and we couldn't see if it was leaking or not and it took ages to take it up and it got damaged so we put some pebbles down but the little one finds it hilarious to run over grab them and throw them in the pond before we can catch her so we'll leave Chris to his fishing, he's loving that. So if anyone else got the same problem, tiny little net on a pole and it picks them up. Fish are doing really well. Got skimmer down there. You can see him with the orange head. Little one, growing really well. Looking really nice. He is got like lovely blue eyes. So I'll just show you the um, shower without the fleece in. Been running a week. Pulling up the pond, ready for when I empty the um, deck sinks, it's cleaning at the minute. See, all that is is black, black, black larvae fly, no muck at all. Chris also enlarged the spray bar holes, so it's blowing out a lot more than it was. No blockages, and as you can see, things appears to be lovely and clean, which is what we want. Baby Tears is doing really well. A few died back, but it's coming back there. Looking very pretty. Got a nice steady flow coming out of the shower. So, nice low maintenance again now. Get that lid on properly. So I haven't got to come out and do that in the winter. And they come. So we're just going to cap off the inside of the shed where the shower is to make it more waterproof for the winter. Where we can see all those gaps. I'm going to fill them in with something, but obviously something that can be removed. So occasionally we will have to clean the shower. We've got our second post in, ready for when we do the koi roof. We'll be doing that 
shortly. So, been bubbling up for about 10 minutes now so we'll flush that away give it a clean get the trusty brush on the bottom when it's been cleaned. Let that drain. Just turn the bubbles over. I need to descale this one. There goes the um, grey one. Oh, that was already. Close it off, switch the pump back on, that's it done. Just a quick look at the pressure filter that we bought, Swell UK, 10,000 litres an hour. Um, we went for that for ease of use and cleaning and it was cheap, it was £114 that comes from the um, skimmer through there into the pressure shower, pressure filter and then up into the shower so we've got that sorted now so that's good to end the video carnage there's Chris's um, pond hoover blown up, smoke coming from it <laughs> and everything and he's really pleased because he hates pond vacuuming. So now he's just making um, himself a device to try and um, put the bottom drain lid back on. And then we're going to have our Sunday lunch. So. Until next time, let's hope this weather stays for September. <laughs>